Welcome to Union Solidarity International. My name is Andrew Brady and I am reporting from Athens as you can see the beautiful scene of the Acropolis that is behind me. I'm in Athens to meet academic institutes and comrades and trade unions about how we can continue and build upon our solidarity with the Greece campaign. I've already met with the Nikos Pulanzas Radical Left Wing Institute about how we can cooperate in a more meaningful and on a regular basis. I will be attending an open meeting involving Yanis Varoufakis, James Gay Galbraith and Euclid Chakalotsis. I will also be meeting and speaking with Euclid to talk about the societal conditions within Greece. I'm in the gasworks of Athens which now has been reconvened into an open public space for people to come and visit. And I think it's very apt because what has been done in Greece at the moment is a dismantling of industry, a dismantling of the, the public sector and a decimation of workers' rights. The situation in Greece today is that unemployment is at 26% and we know the real situation is a lot worse than that whereby people are underemployed and people are in temporary and in casual work so the real unemployment level is far worse. We also know that youth unemployment is over 60% and to visually think about that, if you are in a classroom today, more than one in two of every school child leaving is facing no future prospect of employment. I think it's very apt that we are in a relic of industry in Greece because the situation is very, very serious. And anybody who's watching this on YouTube and downloading it onto iTunes should be under no illusions of the crisis that is in Greece today. I'm standing beside the old university in Athens and I think this is a very apt phrase that is on the wall at the moment, solidarity with migrants. As we know, Nazi gangs on a regular basis go through the market areas of Athens and beat up migrants and people of a different ethnic origin. This is the today of Athens where Nazi gangs sometimes run through the streets with impunity. I'm going to be going to talk to fellow comrades, trade unionists, in a conference titled How Can We Build Solidarity with Workers Today? And I think that's a very poignant and apt phrase. I'm here because this is the front line of the battle against austerity. In many ways, the same way that Spain was the front line against the battle against the Nazis and the fascism in the 30s. Today, we need to give all our support to our comrades in Greece. I'm just about to address the conference to tell them about the work of Union Solidarity International, but I'm also here to listen, to learn, and to be educated. And I've just had a conversation with my good comrade Christos here to tell me about the work of Solidarity for All. And when I say it's inspiring, it truly is. Uh, the, the work that the Solidarity for All has been doing uh, is mainly to facilitate uh, hundreds of uh, solidarity, grassroots solidarity structures that are developing uh, in uh, Greece. Uh, and this is uh, in different uh, fields from uh, food, healthcare, education uh, to culture, uh, solidarity or social economy, what we call, uh, or um, legal support. Uh, and uh, what is important it is that uh, this the way that these uh, initiatives are self-organized. Uh, we have two main aims. One it is to give a immediate response uh, to the urgent needs of the people people to survive because the situation in Greece has been deteriorated so much that we live uh, under a condition of humanitarian crisis because of the uh, very hard uh, uh, shock therapies that we have uh, experienced. Uh, and the second means is that by doing uh, this we develop a different example of self-organization of the people and of, uh, that we build different social relationships and another model how society can run itself. And I think this is also important because it lays down the basis uh, for a 
different future. And this is not only for Greece. <laughs> okay. And this is something that we can we want to share with you also. USI was a project created last May by British and Irish trade unions to endeavour to connect workers across the world. We will be featuring some of the initiatives that they are involved in on the ground. We will be in future receiving reports and footage of some of the inspiring work that they are doing in Athens and in wider Greece. And it only leaves me to thank Christos and to really congratulate them for the inspiring work that they are involved in with Solidarity.